I'm Dr Kevin Dixon, a local historian. I'm here in Torquay on the English Riviera and I'm here to introduce you to a local literary trail. In 1929, the Irish author James Joyce came to Torquay and he stayed at the Imperial Hotel, which is just behind me. Joyce actually came to Torquay to do an analysis of his most famous novel, and that novel is known throughout the world. That novel was called Ulysses. Torquay began as a, as a health resort. It was also a, a terrific place to retire to, as it is today. One of those people who actually retired to Torquay was a gentleman called Edward Bulwer Lytton, or Lord Lytton, and he lived in this uh, house behind me, uh, which was then called Argyle Hall. It's, it's now an apartment block. Uh, many of us have forgotten about Lord Lytton, but he was one of the most famous authors of the 19th century. Many people think that uh, phrases, Sir Pen is Might and the Sword, were Shakespeare. They were actually Lord Lytton's. Lord Lytton came here uh, after writing a series of novels. He was also um, part of Britain's colonial empire. There's towns named after him in Canada and in Australia. Uh, and one of the unusual things about Lord Lytton is he invented quite a number of words. He uh, invented a, a word called Vril, which came out of a science fiction book that he wrote. And that, uh, that name eventually translated into the well-known drink, Bob Vril. In 1817, Mary Shelley, the author of Frankenstein, visited Torquay. She came here with her husband, Percy Shelley, the poet. And what Mary saw when she was here was a town in transition. It was moving between a collection of small rural and fishing villages into becoming the richest town in England. While Mary was here, she wrote a, a short children's story called Maurice, which was lost for nearly 100 years and found again in the Palazzo in Italy. 